Hi you guys, so I'm here with my weekly mail. It's not too much, so I guess I'll give you an update at the end as well. So let me go ahead and show you the couple things that I got. Either free review, I even purchased, you know, something by mail. So, all right, the first thing I got from Amazon Review Trader is just this simple thing where you could put like a water bottle or something on the top or like a Coke bottle. And then um, you just place it onto your planter so your plants can get watered, like if you're going away or something like that that it'll water while you're gone so it took like three weeks to get it but at least I have it so next from Target um, they were giving out free samples of different types of deodorant which are right there those are the ones that you could choose from so I got Axe dry, dry spray deodorant antiperspirant it says night I guess that's a scent night and I also had another one it was sent to my job it was the Dove one so I got those I don't think that's available any longer. I'm sorry, I'm sick still. <laughs> All right, next I got um, the Dove shampoo and conditioner. I'm not sure exactly where I got this one from um, because somebody opened the box and just left it on the counter. So I'm not sure what kind of box it came in, but I got that with a $2 off of two coupon. And then in this little envelope here is from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is just like, um, I think they're lipsticks, yes, they're lipstick samples, and they actually had found foundation samples that they gave out recently, which I didn't get in on time to get it, but these are really cute colors. They're like little tiny envelopes. Look at this thing. They come out with the cutest little sampling things. Aren't they cute? Oh. Anyway, so they're like one-time use things. And um, then I actually, I purchased this last year sometime I had gotten this for a review and I had told myself that I was going to purchase it and I just never did I completely forgot about it and somebody did a review on their products recently and I was like oh crap I really wanted to buy it so I did I went and purchased this one off of Amazon I think it was like 30 something dollars but I swear that this like the fine lines in my face within three days like all plumped up and everything I swore by it so I'm going to start doing that with my fruit infused water again see if I can feel better I just I need to do something okay and then I got a couple I got boxy charm glossy box and ipsy in the mail and oh I wanted to tell you um, because um, ebates you know people think about ebates they're not sure if it really works or whatever but it does I mean it's not that much money that they send out because it depends on what you how you shop and how you spend online but I got um, 30 something dollars for this quarter um, so use ebates online every time you shop on Amazon every time you shop on Target or Sephora or Ulta or Best Buy or whatever you go through ebates first and it tracks you um, and you end up getting money back at the end of every quarter so it does work um, and you can get money for referring friends I think I'm not sure I, I think it says that if right now if if I refer somebody they get ten dollars and I get something I can't remember or it's vice versa or you get twenty dollars and I get ten dollars I don't know what it is anyway there's something if you're not with Ebates and you want to join now I do have a link down below and um, you can go ahead and join and get your first however much bucks it is 10 or 20 dollars right off the bat I did get some um, friend mail uh, recently uh, one is from Christmas time which I didn't put on here um, I wasn't sure if she wanted to but I figured um, she may want to go ahead and get her blog out there because she's a she's an artist her name is Fina but her blog name is trinket Trinket Gypsy, I believe. So she sent over a Christmas card. This is the person that I kind of hold on to different types of cute packaging and papers and things like that. And then she does some kind of um, artsy stuff with it. She's very, very talented. And um, I'm not exactly sure what you kind of call that kind of um, art, but I mean, I think that's awesome. You can go ahead and recycle stuff. And, well, I mean, I keep it and I hold on to it until I get enough stuff and then I'll send it over to her. So I did it once and I still have some stuff that I've been collecting. So she sent me a Christmas card and a thank you card. And she actually sent me over a Target card. She really didn't have to do that. I mean, I, I was going to throw that stuff out because, you know, and and I just, she asked me to hold on to that stuff for her and I, and I have. Um why not help somebody else out you know what I'm saying so anyway so that is through hers trinket gypsy is her blog 
Um, so go and check it out. She posts some different things up uh, over there about her artwork and um, some other things as well. And then from Gracie21, she has a YouTube channel here. Um, she sent me over a little care package and I thought it was just so sweet. And um, it, it kind of like touched my heart a little bit because I'm so sick and I'm so done. By the way, this is the um, a kind of like uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't even think. So by the way, this is like the kind of catching up kind of thing at the same time. So, um, let me finish showing you what she got. She sent me over this card, and as soon as I saw this card, um, she just wrote my name on one side and stamped it with Snoopy on the other side. Now, growing up, my father loves Snoopy, and he has Snoopy stamps, and every time I get a letter from my father in the mail, he puts a little Snoopy stamp. <laughs> Oh my god so when I saw the little stamp I was like oh my god that like touched my heart it's so silly I'm so sick of being sick that I just don't feel normal I just I just want to be better anyway so it has a little Snoopy card and inside was such a heartfelt note in there and it was so sweet of her she's such an amazing woman um, and she does so much for her community and she's just so sweet I remember she doesn't normally put her face on camera she does like unboxings of different things um, and it's usually just the the stuff like on a table and you hear her talking she has the sweetest voice and I I watch her because I love her voice like you just you just listen to it you could just even close your eyes if you want to and listen she has such a calming voice I love that so anyway so she sent me a little care package because of school and she just said a lot of really sweet things and this is from Daiso like Daiso stores we don't have them here I don't think um, and they're just like cutesy little things these are like little erasers they're like little soups and then these are um, it says memo and point marker sets um, so you can just like peel them off and put them onto your your books this I can't wait to use this one. and then um, a couple of cute little pens and another little I think this is like um, the same thing like stickers and stuff that you could put on your your books because I do like to put little things on my books and write little notes on them I'm so sorry I'm sick I'm sorry I had to stop and get rid of this gunk that is building up so anyway so you know last week I was sick the week before the week before the week before I've been sick since December the, the right before Christmas and um, so last week on Sunday, we went to the urgent care for kids and my daughter was diagnosed with the flu. So not only did my boys have the flu a couple of weeks prior to that, then she had the flu. So I'm pretty sure that's what I had as well because I was in bed, unable to move for a couple of days myself. And so I'm pretty sure I had the flu too, but I just didn't get myself checked out because it's enough that we have to pay for all my kids to get checked out pay for the Tammy flu for everybody that stuff is no joke you know Tammy flu is like two hundred and sixty dollars and you know I don't have insurance but um, they did something and it came out to be a hundred and something dollars but still I mean that's a that's not no joke um, so all my kids got the Tammy flu I didn't get it so I am just I'm still sick and I'm so sick of being sick you know what I'm saying I just want to be normal I just want to wake up and just like bounce out of bed get ready for the day and do what I have to do and clean up and pick up and study and this and that and do what I gotta do I just want to live my life and I just can't like it's like two o'clock 2 30 now I got up earlier I started getting ready and I was just like, I, I can't. I just went to go lay back down again. And I was, I just woke up again right now. I just can't function. I'm not able to function. So anyway, thank you everybody for all the well wishes and uh, wishing me good luck in school. School is going better. Um, my anatomy class, the professor, we had our first exam a couple of weeks ago and everybody but three people passed that test. And even those three people that, that passed they just passed by getting the mark. <laughs> so apparently he taught micro and he taught anatomy and he taught a class of each one in the morning and one in the evening. 
and uh, nobody in his one of his micro classes passed not one of his not one like in one of the morning or the afternoon and I think in the afternoon class maybe three people had passed or something like that and uh, the anatomy class I think in the morning like nobody passed I don't know it was really bad so and they don't let you they don't curve the grades and they don't let you retake them um, so your grade is your grade so I failed it along with everybody else and come to find out the next the following week um, they're pulling him and he is no longer going to be our professor so we have another another guy so this past week the new guy started and he's amazing now I understand what the heck is going on now I understand what am I supposed to study for a test because he tells you straight out you need to know this 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 and this and we'll go over everything but these are the things that you need to know for the test hallelujah thank the Lord I know what to study for because before I didn't know what to study because he's like don't use the books make sure you make good notes because my tests are gonna be on the notes I'm like oh, crap oh well anyway so hopefully the next exam is going to be a little bit better a little bit easier I understand what this guy is talking about it's not like you don't have to be a physician to know you know how and understand this these concepts and tests because he the other one will make up these concepts and like you know the person has this diagnosis and this part of the brain causes this and that and this and that and this is what we're learning you're supposed to be teaching us this stuff not telling us that this is how it is and this is how it is because that's not teaching us and that's not a way of helping us remember and we're not at that point just yet so it was just like you're telling us but we don't know why because we're not at that point, we're not at that level. We're not doctors. You know, some of these people are not even nurses. They're they're just, you know, they're just getting into nursing because they want to be a nurse. So you're telling them all this mumbo jumbo and they don't even know what you're talking about because they have no medical background at all. And I have medical background and I'm still like, what? Anyway, so I'm so glad that that part is over. So school, um, I'm liking school now. I know before I was kind of like, I have no idea, I don't have no opinions and this and that. Um, I actually talked to a couple of people in the class, which is kind of interesting and nice. They're very sweet. Um, it's very different. People are very different. <laughs> I'm not used to um, talking and communicating with people that I don't really know. And Sorry, my memory card got full, so I think I know. I think I was talking about new people and communicating and stuff. Um, I had to change out my memory card. Uh, so anyway, so they're like, oh, you know, come sit up here. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, I'm just gonna sit back here. I like to sit in the very back so that nobody can mess with me in the back. You know, like, uh, uh, they like to talk and I like to listen. But when they're talking behind me and I hear them talking, I can't focus on the professor talking in front of me. So I like to be in the back so nobody behind me can talk their mumbo jumbo because a lot of times they're talking Spanish anyway I don't know what they're saying anyhow they're, it's just like noise 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 that's all it is um, so yeah so I like to be on my own and sit back there um, I sat with um, one of the girls a couple of weeks ago and um, she like I'm trying to listen to the it was for algebra I'm trying to listen to her and make sure I know how to answer these questions and I'm writing it down, writing it down, and I'm trying to do it. And she's just talking about something. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, this is the reason why I don't want to sit next to nobody. Because I want to hear, I'm here, and I want to learn. I don't want to gossip with you about anything. I don't. I don't want to talk to you. If we're in break, fine. We can talk. We can go do this, do that. But when I'm in class, I don't want nothing to do with nobody. I just want to focus. Because I. that's what I need to do for me. You know? This person, mind you, had already failed this exact professor's class. I see why, because she's not listening. Whatever. <coughs> Very nice people, but we have different focuses. So, you know, that's how I am. Anyway, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I took some Sudafed right before I started recording, and it's starting to kick in right now. So now my sinuses are starting to clear up. I'm starting to feel a little bit normal. And, uh, yeah, so school, that's it. That's the update. Update, that was the word, that was the word I was looking for when I, I couldn't even think about update. That was, um, it was an update. <sighs> All right, anyway, 
So that's it. I'm still sick, still in school, learning a little bit, and uh, just trying to move along with daily life. Another week down and moving forward. Um, but thank you to everybody that has given me positive thoughts and encouragement and the feel betters and uh, send me some good uh, feel good juju send it over to me because I need it I need to get better I need to stop being sick almost two months being sick and you know one right after another send me the little get better that's what I need please I need to be better hopefully next week you'll see me that I'm healthy and I'm better. Please. All right, you guys, that's it. I'll see you again in another video.